Hi, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here to talk to you about death, dying, letting go, people, I mean, sudden death, slow death, painful death, all of it. And the question that most of us have in our minds when we're watching somebody we love pass away, how could God, a loving God, allow this? Well, let's put it like this. We don't always realize what God's doing because according to the Bible, His ways are above our ways and His thoughts, our thoughts. So when we go through these changes wondering, what's it all about, Alfie? There's a scripture that says, for everything under the sun, there is a season. And let me add Pat's two cents. There is always a reason for that season. It's a time to die. It's a time to live. A time to hug. A time to refrain from embracing. I mean, it just goes on and on. There, there are these times. And some of it we don't think is fair. It's part of life, part of the dying process, part of the pain that we feel as we go through life, the anguish, the, the separations, the losses, the failures. Yeah, we don't get that. But do you know, let me share this with you. For those of you, because I really do believe this, we're right at the, at the um, precipice of a season of death and it sounds morbid and I don't mean to sound morbid but there are times when you will hear about movie stars dying celebrities dying singers dying uh people's mothers dying friends dying our relatives dying our friends I mean it just gets crazy and you're like oh my goodness you went to a funeral this week you went to two last week <coughs> it's like what's going on well, there seems to be cycles in life, just like when it's time for harvest, seed, time, and harvest. There are seasons, times, and, 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 and uh, appointments almost, like divine appointments. And we have to know, if we know that we know that we know, that God is for us, that God loves us, we won't lose heart. We won't lose hope like the others who have no hope, who don't even know God, who don't have God involved in our lives. But when you have God in your life, you have to remind yourself of the scripture that says in Romans, all things work together for good for them that, are, that love God and for those that are called according to to his purpose. Everything has a purpose. Now one thing I know, there's a scripture that Jesus says, oh, it came from Jesus, and he says, except a seed fall to the ground and die, it can bear no fruit. There are times when people pass away, it's your time. You don't get it because you've been all wrapped up with with their needs and things, you know, that involve their, their care. But God sometimes will snatch or pull or slowly ease a person out of your life because it's your time. If you ever read Isaiah chapter one, um, one and he says, Isaiah chapter six, and Isaiah says, when King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. What might be on the horizon for you? Where the stage has to be set, where God has to remove some of the characters and the players out of your life because of his purpose for you, because of the plans he has for you. Jeremiah 29, for I know the plans I have for you, 
plans to bless you, not harm you. He has a hope and a future for you. And there are times he has to take away in order to give. Let me show you an example. I'm just going to fill my hands with stuff. Okay. Now, you see that my hands are full. See? Just full. You can't get much else in there or else it's going to go splat. takes away and he takes away now God has given but he taketh away and he taketh away and what happens living water he can fill your hand with the things you need in your life for this new season. You have to ask God during this time because there are going to be more people passing away. I'm telling you. Some of you mothers will lose your children. So will some of you fathers. Do not argue with each other. Do not blame, lay guilt trips or fight against each other. Draw close to God and draw close to each other. That will be your easiest route. This is a hurdle you have to get over. But once you get past the hurdle, the blessings. And remember, when God has taken your loved one, and you've gone through the funeral and you've gone through the memorial services and you've gone and you're going through your mourning process. Remember, don't mourn the fact that they're gone. You might mourn the fact that you missed them. But if you saw what they saw once they crossed over and you love them like you say you love them, you would not dare ask them to come back. Some of them would be coming back into a sick body, pain, financial stresses, burdens that everybody has decided to lay on them because they're so strong. Trust me when I say, God makes a way of escape. And there are times that door of escape is death. Hear me now. It seems to you like a mean thing. But God is love. And whatever he does, it's through love. Do you hear what I'm saying? Now, I'm talking about children of God, people of God right now. We're not dealing with sinners and all that other stuff. We're dealing with people of God. There are some sinners that will get a lot of mercy because they just have a naturally merciful heart and they're kind, caring. So, you know, he does say, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. So we can't say who's going in, who's not. That's up to God because he sees the heart. We look at the outward appearance. My point to you is ask God to give you the grace to let go without looking at him with a blaming eye without turning your back on him because he took the most important thing out of your life maybe that most important thing that's been in your life may have been a little too long and God has a season and another purpose for you to turn to and a way he wants to use you and he cannot use you tied up in that most important person in your life Oh, I hope you hear me. Whatever God is doing is for your good. All things work together for the good. God bless you. Be encouraged and prepare to let go.